boy am I super stoked to finally get around to uh, <clears throat> opening this. And this is Chris Bangler's uh, Customs. Two of the Chevy square bodies. Man, these things are sweet looking. The one I have here in my hand is uh, it's just his uh, Custom done through Auto World. There's uh, 2,016 of these made. Of course, it's going to say one of 2,016. And then here's the Toy Con one. There's uh, 504 of these made. And I'm going to open both of these up and do a side by side comparison. Here's some custom facts. <laughs> this is the first time Auto World has paired two vehicles and a trailer in one package. So this is kind of a big deal if you're an Auto World fan or an Auto World collector because this series would be the first time that uh, Auto World's uh, done a two vehicles with a trailer kind of like they do with Johnny Lightning and uh, Greenlight of course but nonetheless I've got them open. I'm giving a little slow view here. Uh, this is the toy con one it doesn't have see his uh <clears throat> label or logo on it dnl which is his two sons and actually i think the regular one has a whole lot more detail going on on it it's got a the logo and a lot more dirt going on and rust going on on the step well or the fleet side the fleet side, yeah, step side, step side, guys. A little bit tired. For those that watch, they're gonna want to correct me. But super stoked. I just pulled this thing out and I was just admiring it. Man, there's a huge difference see, between the yellow trucks, how the primer on this one even's got a big old smudge rust spot on the roof tail there my camera's getting hot but I already opened it but man oh man this is something else this is this is history this is history in the making auto world with two vehicles in a single package doing the tow I uh, had mixed feelings about it because you know I don't like collecting um, the trailers and whatnot but I had to do this it's out of world but man these are actually pretty cool I can actually say this guy Chris has uh, done it again I know he's a huge fan of uh, the Hot Wheels drag bus. He gets a lot of customs done on those uh, Hot Wheels drag bus. See, the ramps go under there. They come uh, attached inside the package, but you slide them up underneath the trailers. Uh, you can pull them out and hook them on the rear like you're loading the vehicle. And they're really good quality, I'm going to be honest. The trailers, I was pretty impressed. They're really uh, solid and sturdy. It's not like uh, some of the other brands that I've seen that try to do this where it's just really uh, cheap, cheaply done. These are actually really, really good quality and they look really nice. I just uh, sitting here admiring it, playing with them. This is the one thing though and I think cause it's a new thing they're doing. The hooks on the bottom they uh, just look weird. Black. But it's a first time thing. I think it would have looked way cooler if they'd been able to do them in uh, chrome for us. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it looks good nonetheless. But it's kind of weird, I think, the way they put that uh, tow hitch on there. Because it just seems like you've seen that. It's just mounted on the bottom kind of strange. I've not seen that before. But, nonetheless, still sweet. This whole uh, setup looks really, really good. I can't get over the amount of, you'd have to see this in person, the amount of uh, dust and rust and primer. They've done really good on the detail on this. Uh, wow. There's just rust going all down the fender wheels. Bottom of it is brown. 
It looks plastic, but it's not. It's actually metal. They did. I just actually, I'm impressed with this. This guy Chris really uh, hit it out of the park with getting these done like this. It's pretty sweet looking rides. I gotta, you gotta get these if you don't own them. So so far, this is what I've gotten from this um, Chris Spangler. Spangler. Um, the Rat Finks, which were really sweet looking rides. I'm not a huge fan of the Rat Fink, but it's Outer World and it, it looks pretty good on it. The Golf Trucks, I have to say, these are two of my favorite. And I really like the one without the Golf logo also, even though they're the set. And, of course, the Toy Con and the regular. I just had to compare the differences. And I think if you're not going to go after both sets or if you can't, if you can get that... Uh, only 2016 made i suggest you get that one it's got a lot of detail that's the show thanks for stopping by i'll see you guys in the next episode